Hi, my name is Joni Pemberton with Simply Vegas, and I'm going to take you on a tour of this Vittoria model. We are at Carmel Cliffs, and it's a Pulte development in Summerlin. And um, this particular model features 4,573 square feet. Um, it can come with five bedrooms, five and a half bath, and a four car garage. However, this is modeled with four bedrooms, five and a half bath, and uh, three car garage because they have a gen suite that takes out one of the garages. So um, let's take a look around. Okay, so we're gonna start here in this lovely dining room. And the dining room has access to a butler's pantry. And it also has this beautiful wine gallery that um, it, if it is uh, refrigerated, it doesn't look like it is at the moment, but I guess it can be. But isn't that pretty with these seamless um, frameless glass doors. That is just beautiful. It has a uh, fully tiled back and flooring. This floor is 18 by 36 tiles. Very, fairly large. This has a nice picture window. This is interesting. It's made of little chains. That's thoughtful. Chandelier. Again, the walls are tiled. And on this side of the home, when you first walk in the door, we're at the front of the house. Oh, by the way, when we swing, first we walk in the door, and then here is this third car garage. Third car garage is nice and clean. It has access door to the house, which is nice. Over here, we have a den. This den is really nice. It has a um, nice picture window. It has this built-in granite, or excuse me, quartz countertop shelving, with, and this is all tile. It has these nice French doors that are glass, so everything's kind of open, nice little lighting fixture. I don't know how high these ceilings are. I'm gonna say 24 to 20 to 30 feet, I'm guessing, but they're pretty high. There's an interesting light fixture when you first walk in the home. Moving along, this is a nice house. It has kind of this concrete wall on this side. It has glass and wood railing, which is really, gives you that open feeling. This is really a nice um, family room. It features this 72 inch fireplace. It is, uh, it doesn't expend heat. It's light, but it sure is pretty. And then that makes it easier to justify having a, a television above it. So there's no heat, but this is really very pretty. There's this lighting inset on this wall. This is really interesting chandelier, simple, but elegant. We have a, the door is a sliding glass door. It's four panels, but two of the panels open up. And we are on a view lot. This lot has a, really a strip view. Very nice, we'll go out there last. Nice pool. This is well done, real clean, linear look. So we have an island here that has this breakfast, bar inset all the way across and this island is gee i'm gonna say 24 by i have no idea it's pretty long though and it is waterfall style and the breakfast bar is not it has interesting pendant lights there is recessed lighting throughout so starting over here we have this interesting kind of a beige cabinetry that goes all the way to the ceiling. And this is again quartz with this darker color veins in it. We have a sub-zero refrigerator freezer combination. And as I said when we came in this home, here's the butler's pantry. And the butler's pantry is really very nice very private. It takes you to the dining area, and it also has a walk-in pantry. Mm -hmm. 
I want to illustrate the look of this elegant chandelier again from this perspective. It's really pretty. It's made out of little chains. It's so pretty. Okay, moving along. Nice galley style kitchen. We have Wolf uh, microwave convection oven here. Again, the cabinetry goes all the way to the ceiling. We have a Wolf six burner cooktop, kind of a gourmet oven, if you will, a range with double ovens down there and a gourmet hood to match. And it's really nice how they have this window as well that where you can have all this natural light inside. It's kind of a pulty feature. And this goes all the way to the end of the cafe. And this cafe also has this beautiful, interesting lighting fixture. It, well, again, we have a strip view back here and has this beautiful picture windows and a sliding glass door that takes you out to the outside. We're moving along to this, um, I'm gonna call it a gen suite. Here's the door that takes you to the three car garage when it's tandem, otherwise it's a two car garage. And it has a little drop zone here that they have it fixed up like a coffee area at the moment. And in this model, if you were gonna have the model as it is with this gen suite, you would have a half bath here. So moving into this gen suite, this gen suite is fixed up like a gym, but as you can see, it's linear, so it's two rooms into one. There's usually a bedroom here, and this is the part of the third car garage over here. So they have it uh, with a little kitchenette. So all of this little kitchenette, so a microwave oven, sink, refrigerator, it's all fully self-contained. And on this side of the room, we have a walk-in closet. And a three-quarter bath. There's this lovely gray tile behind the shower. It's nice if they have it fixed up like a gym. So over here we have this gym mirror. And there is the, the ceiling actually, is there are these tiles that look like wood. You can see up there. And out here is the backyard. So the, this gin suite door takes you to the backyard as well as the dining room and living room. So isn't this beautiful? This pool is very thoughtful. It looks big enough to swim in. Um, it has a jacuzzi, so it's very linear and um, elegant, I think. And this property, again, has view lots. I, I believe all the lots here are elevated and they have lot premiums. Not sure what they are. Those are subjective. So, moving along. breath of this room. It's all open. It's very beautiful, really. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but the base price of this home is $1,210,000. So let's go on up this nice spine staircase and see what's on floor two. So when we first walk up to the right, 
is a better view of this chandelier that they have in the entryway. And you can see the uh, entry door down there. Interesting ceiling, it has tile and we have this inset ceiling, it's interesting, with wood behind it. Okay, moving along, we're gonna first start over in the front of the house where we have a bedroom. All of these bedrooms are in suite. So first we have a walk-in closet. And again, we're at the front of the house, so we have a lot of natural light here. And over here, we have a three-quarter bath. Kind of gray and beige tones. Simple tiled bath. Simple but clean. Okay. It's all carpeted up here, so there's the it softens the noise factor. And then the next room that we walk into is the laundry room. Lots of cabinetry. Nice space. And over here we have the smart devices hook up. Next, we have this elegant, I want to call it playroom for lack of a better term, I'm going to call it a secondary family room that upstairs. It's so pretty. It has its own patio. It's nice and large. This patio accommodates this family room as well as the primary bedroom, which is going to be to our left. We haven't seen that yet, but this is pretty. Thoughtful. Look at that nice strip view. Nice view up here. A little bit hazy. See the pool down here? So this is cool deck on the ground and Recessed lighting, fully covered, nice and cool. This is kind of cute how they have this open concept here. Gives it some interest. Again, with this is a we saw this downstairs. It's like a cement wall. So moving along, on the way to the master and a few other bedrooms up here. On this side, we have a linen closet to accommodate the bedrooms up here. So I'm moving along. Again, I love this, how it's all open. Very cute. So up here, in the front of the house again, we have a bedroom. It's well lit, front of the house, natural light, interesting uh, lighting feature. Kind of interesting too, they give a little built-in desk. Walk-in closet. And a, there's a three-quarter bath here to accommodate this bedroom. Has a floating cabinet, with lighting at the bottom. It's gray quartz, and it has a three-quarter bath. So moving along in the back of the house, we have the primary bedroom that has its own retreat. This retreat is really pretty nice. It has a tiled wall on the side. It has its own window, and it has this cute little wet bar which has a KitchenAid refrigerator and a small sink. Charming. A quartz countertop. Mm -hmm. 
so this is the master bedroom. Boy, is it nice. Again, we have the interesting lighting and this is tiled, recessed lighting too. And here's the perspective from the master, the primary bedroom, which is a patio where we just were. Nice and long. Well done. Okay, we're moving along to the primary bedroom, bathroom. We're moving along to the primary bathroom. <laughs> we have two waterfall style vanities, both on either side of the master bathtub, or I should say primary bathtub. This is interesting. Just give it some design element overlooking the bathtub. And this goes all the way down the wall. It's like slatted wood. And I don't know if I mentioned this. These are waterfall style. So we have uh, straight ahead. This is going to be in the front of the house. A walk-in closet. And I like that they have windows in there. Lots of natural light. Fully built out. This is by Closets of Las Vegas. Closet build out. This is cute. They even put a little quartz countertop on this. Kind of a built in drawer system. To my right, we have a water closet. And this shower is, um, doesn't have a door, but it has an open entry with two shower heads and two, I wonder if one's a hot and one's a cold, I don't know. No, they're both hot and cold, so they both uh, accommodate the two shower heads. And the primary bedroom has its own linen closet, which is nice. This is lovely. So thank you for taking this tour with me of this Vittoria model. Again, it is 4,573 square feet. This particular model features four bedrooms, four and a half baths, and a three car garage. However, you can get it as a five bedroom, five and a half bath bath four car garage. And so, the, again, the base price of this home is $1,210,000, and there are going to be lot premiums in all of these lots up there. So if you're interested in this home or any of the homes in my video tours, you can contact me with my information below with any questions. Feel free to comment as well. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of any upcoming videos. Thank you.